Chairman Board, I'll uh, just briefly summarize some of our project information here. Uh, project Oakwood, that's food production. That's a new project we opened about a month ago. We're still continuing to work that, provide information to the prospect uh, as we move forward with that project. Uh, project Maroon, that's our bioscience project uh, going from the Baxter location uh, here in Georgia several uh, several years back, so that is continuing and uh, it is in progress. Uh, you can see our existing industry report there. Uh, those are the in industries that we visited uh, this past month. One of those, obviously, as Megan mentioned, is CRT and Quad Graphics, and they are our existing industry spotlight, uh, which you will see next. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here, if I could. Uh, we'll start with uh, Fussell Tire and Service, that's our logistics distribution service support project, uh, which is located in Westside Business Park. Um, I, I wanted to uh, show you this because that was the original concept plan for the landscaping uh, when we were looking at five acres for that project. So what we have done now since that project is now consuming about eight acres, We've taken the landscape that was planned for the end of the track here and the landscaping that was planned interior to the park and we've reoriented that working with the, uh, the developer uh, and the prospect to run that down St. Augustine Road. So uh, we, finished, um, we finished that work uh, a couple of weeks ago and have looked at that landscape plan. I think you'll be very pleased uh, with how that will look. Um, here are some shots. Um, this, uh, this was a cold morning this morning when we were out there. Folks were just starting to go to work, but you're looking uh, from the north to the south, uh, and you're looking at the building that's coming up. You can now beginning to see the texture of the concrete block across the front of the building. Um, this is a shot looking uh, from, the, uh, from the east to the west. So now you're beginning to see the stucco applique that goes on the front of the building that faces on St. Augustine Road. And then uh, this is a couple of shots interior looking from the, generally from the uh, east to the west so that you can begin to see some of the infrastructure work that's going on with the water and the sewer and the storm water detention pond. Um, current projections are that we would be able to have an opening ribbon cutting ceremony in January of this year if the project is really moving, moving along nicely. Um, our express script. Pro, uh, project continues to progress on schedule. Uh, they're in their last cohort of training now. As you know, we uh, will generate about 175 new customer service representatives out of this phase of the Express Scripts project this year. Um, talk just a little bit about uh, Bimbo Bakeries. That's a site building plan uh, up in the Hayhire Business Park. This project has really come along uh, very quickly in the last 30 days. Uh, here you can see some shots of the exterior of the building. You can now see the uh, truck dock doors that are being installed. In fact, they were installing doors today. Uh, early this morning, they were waiting for it to warm up a little bit so they could to get some concrete down. Uh, and hopefully they were able to get some of that down today. So, so that project is uh, moving along nicely. Uh, that's. Uh, some of the uh, site prep work that was going uh, for the preparation of the asphalt and the concrete. Um, our project coal, which is food production and processing, that is a project that we've looked at in an existing uh, industry location. We've also looked at a new location. There's uh, the assessments have done, the preliminary engineering work has been completed, so now the prospect is, is comparing both of those options to see which would be the best fit for that. So I would expect within the next 30 days that we'd have some information on how that one may, may proceed. Uh, project White Cadillac, again, that's food, logistics, and distribution. That project is still in the process. Uh, we continue to look at different variations of the building uh, and orientations for the building and construction materials. Uh, so continuing to work with the prospect on that. And what incentive packages additional investments in capital expenditure and jobs might bring to the project. And finally, uh, Project Greensleeve, uh, we mentioned last month that this was a project we worked about a year ago. Uh, it's food, logistics, and distribution. Uh, we are now bringing that project back. In fact, in the last couple of weeks, we've had uh, 
meetings with the developers, architects, engineers, and the prospect. We, in fact, had one of those today. Uh, we've identified the business park uh, for that project. It's somewhere between 11 and a half and 13 acres in that park. And now we're looking at what we initially thought was going to be a footprint for about 60,000 square feet. We may be pushing that up to about 100,000 square feet. And we're also looking at a corporate office location there. So we're very encouraged about that project. Uh, when we met today uh, with the prospect, uh, he let us understand in very clear terms that he is on a very tight schedule because of some contracts he's been able to uh, negotiate. And um, um, I'm, I'm optimistic that uh, we move that project along towards completion by mid-year of 2015. Um, I want to mention just a few things about our, commu our community business and industry partnership. Uh, as you know, we finished the, uh, the Global Agribusiness Symposium in the month of October. We are now planning for our next event, which will be the uh, Georgia Logistics Summit. Uh, that's going to be uh, in March and April of 2015. We're going to step it up a notch this year. We have partnered now with three local existing industries. 3PLs, logistics distribution, and we have two more that are interested. So now we're going to be participating as a premium solution provider sponsor, which gives us booths and tables and lots of, uh, uh, lots of advertising during the summit. And we'll be uh, obviously building our community as a logistics distribution hub of South Georgia with a showcase of those existing industries. So we're really looking forward to that step up with those partners. Um, finally, you can see the industrial park acreage there. Uh, that's been adjusted to reflect what we have today. Mr. Chairman, that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Wiggins. Any questions? I have a question. Project Grainsley, yes. are we in competition with other communities in or outside the state? No, ma'am. We are We're not. not. We are not. At this point, we are not. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? All right, Ms. Fryer.